Hello everyone, today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read both questions, choose your correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question, a point mutation in which one purine is exchanged for another purine is called and here is the four answers to choose from. And here is my explanation. So first of all, uh, we have two groups of um, cases. Uh, we have purines, and we have pyrimidines. So uh, purines, as you see, the word much shorter than pyrimidines. And purines would make a group of um, bases with uh, two rings. So this is the way how to remember. Short word stand for the long uh, or large base. And pyrimidines, uh, this is long word that stands for the short version of the bases with one ring. And... Uh, how to memorize which bases belong to pyrimidines. This is easy. Just have to remember that pyrimidines with one ring looks like a cut version of purines. So imagine that we just cut these two rings in the middle and we got pyrimidines. So uh, you have to memorize uh, cut and uh, C here stands for the cytosine and T stands for the zymine. So, uh, and U stands for the uracil. And uracil is the same as zymine and zymine would be substituted in the message RNA with uracil. So, we don't need uracil for our explanation. I just uh, want to show you that uh, we also... Um, refers to uracil as pyrimidine when we have this base in message RNA. But for now we can uh, delete it. You just um, remember that uh, here we have uh, cut. The word cut, it's easy to remember two out of four bases and our basis is adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uh, zymine. So as long as we know that uh, two out of four bases would be uh, zymine and cytosine would be pyrimidines, we even don't have to memorize that uh, the rest would be purines and the rest would be, um, as you see, uh, adenine and guanine. So uh, we call uh, substitution of the pyrimidines with pyrimidines uh, transition. So this can be uh, cytosine substituted with zymine or uh, adenine substituted with guanine. We also call this uh, transition. But also we may have uh, uh, such mutations as uh, adenine substituted with cytosine and cytosine with adenine. Also we may have such um, mutations, such and such. So all these mutations that uh, I designate with uh, white arrows would be a transversion. And this is easy to remember also. Imagine that when we have transition it's like a boy become a man. This is normal process. And uh, transversion, it's like, um, another example would be like a man becomes a woman. So this is becomes transvestite. So transversion, this is something um, abnormal. So the same thing here. When we have one purine substituted with another purine, and this is going to be two ring uh, base, substitute with two ring base, 
this would be transition. The same is here. When one um, pyrimidine would be substituted with another pyrimidine, uh, we would have transition. But when one pyrimidine would be substituted with uh, another purine, we would have transversion. And this is double-stranded DNA. Imagine that uh, we have purines here with two rings, uh, bases with two rings, and uh, purines always base pairs with pyrimidines. So here would be pyrimidine with one ring, and here would be pyrimidine with one ring, and here. But if we would uh, have purine uh, base pair with purines, we would have here uh, another picture, something like this, uh, when we would have here um, purine base pair with purine, and that means that uh, DNA strand would bulge here. And when we would have, for example, pyrimidine base pair with pyrimidine, that means that uh, this would change conformation of the DNA, and such um, mutations would be much easier to detect for uh, internal mechanism of the DNA proofreading, and uh, because of this, uh, this, those, as you see here, we have much more uh, variants when uh, purines would be changed with permidines and vice versa, but uh, such um, mutations happens at much, much uh, less rate than uh, transitions. So transversions happen uh, as mutation in DNA in much less uh, or much slower rates and transitions. So now uh, I think you already know the answer and the answer would be a point mutation in which one purine is exchanged for another purine is called transition and this is answer C. And next question removing nucleotides or adding nucleotides result in and here is the four answers. Answer A, point mutation. Answer B, proto-oncogen. Answer C, base substitution. And answer D, reading frame shift. And uh, imagine that this is uh, DNA strand. And here we have bases. This can be, for example, A, T, C, G, G, A, T, C. And as you know, DNA serves as a template for the message RNA, and message RNA would code uh, for the uh, proteins or amino acids. So um, those uh, DNA doesn't uh, directly um, code for proteins, it's doing through the um, so-called middleman uh, that is uh, message RNA, but still here we can say that there is exist codons or three nucleotides that code for particular amino acid, and if we insert here uh, for example here, or it can be in any place here or here, any other nucleotide, for example C, you may say that oh, uh, still this would be the same trinucleotide A, T and C, but actually uh, think about it that uh, here would be a frame shift and the next nucleotide instead of starting with G G and A, this is going to be second uh, trinucleotide, it would be C, G and G. So as you see, this is completely different um, sequence and this would code for completely different uh, protein or amino acid. So as you remember, this was our 
uh, first uh, trinucleotide that was our second and when we introduce here new base we got a new uh, nucleotides as follows trinucleotides this is going to be the first uh, trinucleotide and this is going to be the second and this is going to be the third so as you see uh, we got a frame shift and now all the other trinucleotides would be different and we will get a completely different sequence of nucleotides so such uh, insertions would means a reading frame shift and this is answer D and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye